all the dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, resource persons, participants for this today national level conference. Very good morning to all of you. At the outset, let me take this opportunity to congratulate Dr. Vasu, Professor Lakshmanarayana, and all his team for coming out with this today international conference on demogra demographic dividend or disaster. I think I should place on record that the help rendered by Dr. Usha Devi as well because Dr. Vasu has been pointing out that uh, she has been the backbone for this uh, you know, particular, uh, uh, particular conference. Let me also place on record the support given by the entire team of NABAD. I see a host of them general manager, chief general manager, the assistant general manager, so many others have come. I don't remember all their names and all because just now I was introduced to them and all. On behalf of Jain University, I wish to thank all the people from NABAD, including, uh, you know, Professor Subramaniam, who was uh, instrumental in bringing all of them together for this. Uh, <coughs> let me congratulate, uh, you know, once again, and as he told you, Dr. Vasu has been uh, behind this for the past two or three months or so in organizing this one and we are realizing the today international conference today uh, uh, you know my sincere appreciation to dr wasu because i know the problem that is involved in organizing such an international conference uh, as the head of the university it's my privilege to tell you a little bit about our jain university because i see a lot of new faces you know, all those who are involved in jain university may be knowing the growth and development of jain university but still, you know, let me give you a very brief introduction about Jain University before, uh, you know, I wish uh, the participants and all. Sri Bhagwan Mahavi Jain College was started in the year 1990 by our visionary chairman, Dr. Chandra Jirachan. Uh, uh, in fact, you know, today he was supposed to be here, but uh, due to some, you know, unavoidable uh, pressing, uh, demand, uh, pressing work, uh, he was not able to make it. But he may join all of us at any moment and he wishes and he conveys uh, his wishes for this uh, international conference uh, through me to each and every one of you present here. Uh, he started with a handful of teachers, about uh, say around 40 to 50 students in 1990. But today, under his leadership, visionary leadership, the group, the Jain group of institutions has more than 68 institutions, vibrant institutions spread all over the country, so to say. We have about 50,000 students spread in all these 69 institutions spread all over the country. We have more than about 3,000 faculty members. To, uh, uh, what I mean by that is the teaching in the teaching community, nearly about 2,500 non-teaching people are there. So many are involved in it, actually. Now, uh, this Sri Bhagwan Mahavi Jain College was declared as a deemed to be university uh, during December 2008 because of its past achievements the college went for NAC accreditation reaccreditation and we were accredited as one of the highest one with a grade uh, uh, with a cumulative grade point average of about 3.8 and a four point scale during that time during 2007 or so because of which we were granted this uh, uh, status of deemed to be university all our academic programs started from July 19th, uh, I mean 24th July 2009. All our research programs under the leadership of Dr. Sandhi Sastri started from 2010 onwards. At present, we have about 10,800 students or so under Jain University. We have six faculties in the form of commerce, management, so uh, humanities and social sciences, languages, sciences, and engineering and technology. We have about five campuses spread in Bangalore and we have a global campus there which is spread in about 300 acre campus or so. And recently we have been again accredited by NAC uh, with a B grade. Of course, you know, we, are, uh, we have uh, gone for appeal also because we deserve A grade and all those who are involved in it, they know that and we have gone for appeal also. Uh, we may get the result uh, very soon then. Now why I'm pointing out this, uh, this you know, yes. Uh, now as far as Jain University is concerned, we leave no stone unturned in inculcating the moral and ethical values in each and every of our students. In seeing that, you know, all of our students and faculty members contribute to the national development. 
Oh, uh, we have uh, we have at present, you know, as far as Jain University is concerned, though it is a private university, uh, we have about uh, 83 projects or so of societal and national significance. We have about 83 projects. We have completed about uh, 43 projects or so, including the consultancy projects and all. We have a lot of industry institution linkage. Now, uh, the, the, as far as the conferences are concerned, we have conducted about uh, nearly 1,500 conferences at national level, international level so far, right from the inception of Jain University. And, uh, and uh, the, the, you know, almost every alternate day or so, you know, in, any, uh, in one of our units we will have either a national level conference or an international level conference or a student seminar or a workshop, some activity or the other will be going on here. Now, in this context, I'm really very happy that, you know, Dr. Vasu has come out with uh, the international conference on demographic dividend or disaster. It's a very good topic. Demographic uh, plays a very major role in deciding the future of any country for that matter, particularly in India. The demographics, uh, uh, I'm really very happy that, you know, they have chosen such a wonderful topic. Because, as I told you, it, uh, uh, if the country has to grow, if uh, the country has to show the economic development, you know, the proper study and understanding of the demographic dividend is a must, actually. In fact, you know, myself and Professor Nandagopal, Nandagopal is here. We have been writing a lot of articles on higher education in the University Association of India, Indian University, University News. Almost every alternate week or so it will appear also. I think we have already completed about 15 articles or so within past one year. And our main aim is to contribute for higher education. And in that, we have touched upon a lot of aspects as far as demographic dividend is concerned. How it contributes to the economic development of the country. How it contributes for the societal development of uh, any particular region. And how it contributes... Uh, uh, for the advances that we are facing in you know, science and technology, how it is uh, going to help us in understanding the poverty levels at various uh, you know, um, uh, places as far as India is concerned. And uh, Professor Nandagopal has given me a lot of inputs as far as this demographic dividend is concerned. Now, as far as India is concerned, India is a country with a very huge population. In fact, we have referred it in our article also, uh, nearly about 1.2 billion or so. And I saw that in the invitation also. And the most important thing is, uh, here nearly 50% of uh, the population is under the age group of 25 or so. And I also saw that, you know, nearly 65% are under the age group of about 35 or so. Now, this is an advantage. I should say it is also a disadvantage. It's an advantage because, you know, majority of them are very young and all. They'll be able to contribute and all. It's a disadvantage because, you know, we should be able to provide employment for all these uh, graduates. That is uh, one of the major challenges what we are going to face, actually. So taking these things into account, uh, the advantages as well as the disadvantages and all. Now, this conference, I, I'm sure, you know, will throw a lot of light on, uh, you know, the importance of understanding this demography. Um, uh, as far as, uh, the, the, you know, the, the Jain University is concerned, as I have been telling you, we have been promoting these types of conferences and all, let uh, some, uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, discussions let it take place as far as uh, this particular one is concerned. I'm, uh, I was going through the sub-themes also, very, uh, very nicely it is drafted and all, and I was told that, you know, about uh, uh, 80 abstracts or so they have received and out of which about 50 or so they have selected and they have brought it in the form of a booklet also. Uh, and uh, more than about uh, 70 or 80 participants are there, I think from all over the country they have come, I was told. Um, my best wishes to each and every one of you. I wish that, you know, a lot of deliberations they take place. And uh, we, uh, more than all these things, you know, I'm really very happy that, you know, you have chosen a person in the form of Dr. Ravindra to give the keynote address because he has been the uh, main person uh, as far as the development uh, of uh, Bangalore is concerned in various aspects, I can tell you as the former chief secretary and I remember he was the chairman of uh, BD also if my memory is right uh, and uh, the chairman of the Smart City Foundation and I think you know you could not have found uh, any other better person as far as uh, this uh, to, uh, to give the keynote address as far as this uh, conference is concerned. My best wishes to each and every one of you. I'm really very happy to associate myself uh, in this uh, inaugural function. Um, let me once again wish all the participants uh, 
those who are going to present the papers also very good luck uh, let lot of uh, you know heat be there during the debate and all due to, uh, during the plenary session and all but at the same time you know let it throw a lot of light uh, which in turn will uh, contribute uh, for identifying what are the various aspects that are involved in the demographic uh, dividend or disaster you know the whole aim is you know all the policy makers and education educationists uh, they should understand this concept and uh, i was seeing that uh, captain riser also the empowerment the education that that has to be given finally resulting in employment all these three are interlinked actually uh, very strong jain university strongly believes in empowering the youth and we believe that you know the empowerment of the youth can happen by educating them by imparting quality education jain university is known for imparting quality education not only for quality education it is known for its uh, innovations in research and development it is known for its outreach development and all it is known for excellence in sports uh, in various aspects in various areas as i have told you so uh, let me uh, take this opportunity to wish you let all the policy makers and all you know understand these concepts and all and uh, let us uh, debate on all these things see that you know all the disadvantages are reduced or minimized uh, and all the advantages are taken so that you know the economic uh, development of our country is uh, 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 is taken care of let me wish each and every one of you good luck i remind